Let's shift to the NFC. Starting with the Seahawks, take it on the Falcons. Steve Berline. Well, I think this one here, it should be a pretty good ball game. I think it's going to be pretty, pretty neck and neck because of the fact that Seattle has Russell Wilson. They have the experience. But Atlanta at home, the way they're clicking on offense with a week to get ready for this game, I really believe Atlanta is going to win this ball game and move on to the NFC championship. You know, I, earlier this season, Seattle beat Atlanta 26-22. It was a close ball game, came down to the end, controversial call. I just think with the extra week, Matt Ryan having time to prepare, I think this offense is going to be too much for Seattle. I know Seattle does a great job defensively. I just think Atlanta is going to be uh, ready to roll and, and put up some points. And, you know, I think they end up pulling that out as well. I'm going with Atlanta. Well, Trent, I'm with you completely. I'm taking the Falcons as well. And listen, in that first game, should have been a flag thrown. Richard Sherman, Julio Jones, Seattle. Got to respect them with Russell Wilson, Pete Carroll. But if you look at 2016 to 17, Falcons clearly the better team. They win by 10 points. Fourth down. Can't wait for it. Packers at the Cowboys. Steve started off. Adam, I, I think this is the week where the, the youthfulness of the Cowboys catches up with them. I think the Green Bay Packers go into Dallas with Aaron Rodgers playing the way he's playing right now. And Dom Capers, by the way, you can say what you want to say about the Packers defense. There's no coach better than Dom Capers as far as confusing young quarterbacks. Look at his track record. I like the Green Bay Packers going to Dallas and winning this game. Well, I've been saying all year, at some point in time, the young players that Cowboys are putting out on the field and Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott, it's going to end up being too much. The only time they lost is twice to the New York Giants. So they haven't shown that yet, but I agree with Steve on this one. I think Aaron Rodgers is too hot. 285 consecutive passes with no interceptions. They're rolling right now. I'm going with Green Bay winning at Dallas. Listen, I hate picking against Aaron Rodgers, but... Cowboys have done it all year. I'm, I'm surprised. Two guys who played the game, knocking Ezekiel Elliott and Dak Prescott. I mean, come the key on. Thing, They're not rookies. The key, hey, the key point there, Adam, two guys that played the game. How'd you do last week with that Giants-Packers pick, by the way? <laughs>